Welcome back to Grand Things with the Johnson. I've been really busy at work, but check out what we've got going on. Today, I figured I haven't put out a video in a while and I haven't updated about the ladybugs. They are awesome at killing the aphids. I killed my bad bugs with good bugs. That all coming up in just a few. And a little bit of an update of what's growing and how it's growing. You guys, stay tuned. get to it man I, I just got to show you guys we have never actually used ladybugs to fight the bugs before so I was having a heck of a time with like aphids and uh, probably thrips and other things the aphids were doing enough pressure just them so you can kind of see on the on the leaves here it's a bit well for you to get that focus down there we go there we go. So now you can see where the aphid pressure was here and you know, all this new growth and the ladybugs is looking tons better. I'm never spraying again. I'm just gonna release the bugs. That's the way to go. Carrots. Let me just, uh, let me flip you around real quick. Hold on a sec. Man, on the carrots. I mean, they were, they were real bad in there. So, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't see any of these stalks without aphids on them. So it was, they were terrible. So they were eating up the carrots. As you can see, there's some carrots that aren't doing so hot. And then, so it's like all the ladybugs. I mean, you can't, you can't even find any aphids anymore. It's really great. So loving that. Ladybugs eat some aphids. Now one more thing that the aphids were eating real bad and it's that golden hour in the daytime when nothing's nothing's focusable. So on this flower here all these little buds behind there they were covered with aphids. The aphids just absolutely loved them. And so it you can't they're not even on there no more. None of the tomatoes really had any aphids pressure. It was really just the lettuce and the spinach and the kale. The aphids absolutely love that stuff. So, ladybugs, eat them, guys. Ladybugs is the way to go. Just release the bugs. Never used that before, and I don't think I'll ever do it any other way now. I, I, I like not being able to spray anyway. All we had to do is just release the bugs per plant. Uh, yeah, man. They did work. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Everything's been growing excellent. Give me a second, I'll show you. The tomatoes, they're already wanting to just spit out maters. And we hadn't even put them in the ground yet. It's just awesome, awesome place to be. Uh, can't beat it. Tell you what all we've got growing right now. All right, so over here we've got some mild jalapenos, and then we've got some sweet peppers right here. And then we've got some hot jalapenos there. Some more mild jalapenos. We've got one habanero plant. That was a, a, a freebie from last year. It just really sprouted. Uh, but now I'm getting plant intentionally. We've got some pretty purple tomatoes over here. We've got some German Johnson tomatoes, you know. Had to get the German Johnson because I'm a Johnson, so we've got some more lettuce. Got another round of lettuce coming in there. A little bit of strawberry patch. This is a test run for the whole piece. So we're gonna see how they do out of the barrel. We're just gonna test what you see. Got the next round of what is this red red oak leaf there. So 
red oak leaf. There's a little bit better focus. Look at that tomato. Look at that. Tomatoes almost bigger than that plant is, man. It's awesome year for tomatoes for me so far, so hopefully it continues. Got some more eggplants popping off over here. We got some more red oak leaf lettuce there. Uh, some little little spud potatoes that were didn't even know if they were gonna grow, so we put them in a the little bucket to see. They sprouted just fine, so we're gonna transplant those. Got peppers popping off like crazy. These are my last year's peppers, so I don't know if y'all seen my video that I, I had my uh, I overwintered these down in the tornado shelter in my backyard and uh, under a grow light over the winter, and now they're there's some producing foals. This is a year old pepper plants. Those ones are cool. Uh, anyway. Got another barrel planted down with some more lettuce. That's gonna grow out nicely. We're gonna grow more lettuce in this barrel. We just got these cleaned out. And we're gonna clean them up and plant some more lettuce in there. Got all this lettuce. It's looking good down here in my new raised bed I built. So, got a bunch of different lettuces. We got some red fire lettuce, some red oak leaf, some red butter, green butter, and green oak. And this bed's almost ready to be planted out there. Cucumbers get awfully cold here by the wet wall, but they're going to take off later on when it gets hot. It's 90 degrees today, and uh, we're going to definitely have uh, another 90 degree day tomorrow. So, more red fire lettuce. Let's see here. What else we got? All our tomatoes in the bigger buckets. That one was, uh, we ran out of buckets, so we've got a uh, couple things going in there. And then uh, <laughs> a random potato sprout in there. Eggplant, eggplant, mater, 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 mater. More mater, more mater, more mater, potato. Mater, tomato, 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 and a flower, pretty flower. Uh, a little back view of everything. So, alrighty. What's up here? I did happen to get some new trees to the mix. I planted this guy today and uh, it just splashed water all over me. It's all good though. So, this is a little baby lemon tree. Lime tree, sorry, not a lemon. Little baby lime tree. Gonna have the lime. And then we've got, we've got some avocado sprouts that we took. And we're gonna have these guys. I don't know if I'm gonna use those as a bonsai, but definitely gonna grow them out of a big pot. That way they got plenty of root mass and they can produce some. Good old avocados for us. Those are doing great. That's the new addition to the bonsai stack over here. So, my brother brought us a Noki over here. Hopefully, it'll like the light better here. See a little bit of the yellowing on that thing right there. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate everybody that does watch. I've never had an actually heat controlled greenhouse before, so this is the first for me. Uh, all my other ones have just been hot houses that'll uh, block the wind and the weather, but never a wet wall and all this cool stuff that we got going on here. So, turn in you guys. Hopefully, you guys like learning with me. You have a good night. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Catch you guys next week and keep it growing. What's up, Doc? Thank you.